Anime art books was one of the only ways in the 80s and the 90s that you could get any information and uh, graphics and pictures about the animes that you were watching. So a lot of the, uh, these books uh, contained uh, not only illustrations, they contained you know, color pictures from the actual anime as well as uh, artist drawings. Uh, they had also designs and that kind of stuff, uh, line drawings, which basically al allowed you to see uh, the conceptual artwork and the conceptual ideas that the, uh, that the artist had for making some of the animes, as well as uh, very depth um, interviews and information about the worlds and uh, you know technical information about the, the settings, the characters. This, of course, allowed us to understand the anime much better uh, in a world that we didn't have internet to look this stuff up with. For the full episode, check out the history of fan anime at William Chow on YouTube. Well, I enjoyed that, uh, having a little sneak peek at some of these uh, art books that were really, really valuable to us, uh, you know, in the, in the early days, because this is sort of the only way that we got, you know, the artwork and the, uh, you know, the inside information on a lot of these animes that we follow, because again, you know, uh, the internet is not the way it was, and even trying to get, uh, you know, high resolution pictures and, and images and that one and whatnot uh, was next to impossible uh, without the use of these kind of books. So again, I hope you found that really insightful. Stay tuned for some more cool things from the archives, alright? So until next time, I will see you again.